Hey, YouTube. Um, I'm back home because I have a four-day weekend thanks to the Jewish religious holidays. Um, and so they've just coincided so that I get a four-day weekend. So I'm back home, and I wanted to go to Yukon to visit some of my friends, but uh, my parents told me no because they wanted me to review for midterm exams and stuff like that. So having all afternoon to myself and bored, and hopefully everyone's at work so no one's going to call the police, I'm going to shoot some stuff in my backyard, you know, some backyard ballistics testing. I'm going to post this up on Facebook, too, just to see how many, you know, how many hippies I control. So I've already got some targets. Um, there's already an apple down there, and I'm going to shoot it with my trusty 22, and I'm going to shoot this water bottle and this larger water jug as well, just to see what they do. And then later on, I'm going to take my single shot brake barrel shotgun for a run as well against another water jug. So let's see how it goes. As I just stated before, my first target will be an apple and on top of that cardboard box and I'll be shooting at it with some of these subsonic hollow point fragmenting rounds. These are basically meant for hunting small game, rabbits, things like that, squirrels. And uh, that target has to be about uh, 10, 11, 12 yards away. Now, I'm not used to shooting off the, uh, the top of my grill as a bench rest. So let's see what I can do. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can see. There's the entry wound, there's the entry hole, and there's the exit. So, uh, pretty devastating. Whoop. I was going to cut it in half, but uh, it appears that the bullet, just the energy of the bullet already broke in half for us. And some people are going to, some hippies on, you, on uh, Facebook are probably going to complain about, you know, wasting an apple, so. There you go. This entire section here has been completely pulverized. It's just mush. My next target will be that water bottle over there. And I'm going to shoot it with the same ammo, same distance, same everything. <laughs> what, happened, what happened was I think it went in here. You see? It went in here, kind of expanded and blew out. And it came out back here. You can see where all the, um, where all the plastic is bent outwards like that. So entry wound here. And exit. Finally, I'll be shooting the large one gallon water jug that you see there in the center of your screen. With the same ammo, same everything. <laughs> As you can see there, that's the entry hole. And it split this thing wide open along the uh, Along here, there's like this natural cross, these divots in the uh, the water bottle, and it split that apart there. Blew off the top, split this wide open going going in, and then coming out, it blew out this section here, and also right underneath the uh, the handle. I don't know if you can see that in there. And the exit hole is right there. I'm going to be blowing apart that water jug behind me from a distance of about 7 yards with my single shot brake barrel 12 gauge shotgun. I'm going to be using some double lock buck, reduced recoil because that's the only stuff I could find around here. Here it is. Now what you do is you take this, you depress this lever over here that opens the action, insert your shell into the breech, and close it, pull back the hammer, and you're ready to rock. Now, double lock buck, in case you guys don't know, here's a clear plastic shell. There's powder back here. There's a wad to provide, um, you know, just a surface to push against. And then there's the ball, the shot. But I'm just going to be using this uh, Winchester stuff because that's the thing I trust. So from a distance of seven yards, it's going to be allowed. Hopefully no one's going to call the police. Here we go.
<laughs> that was pretty awesome. Oh, let me uh, show you the automatic ejection. Whoop. I don't know if you can see the smoke in there. How awesome is that? There's the ejected shell. Let's see that blown up water jug. Well, here it is. It's been blown wide open. Uh, it's hard to tell where it came in and where it came out. I'm guessing these are the entrance wounds here. There's some. I forgot to mention, there's nine, uh, nine pellets. Uh, each of those pellets is about 31 or 32 caliber which means 0 0.31 or 0.32 inches in diameter. And then coming out, it just kind of blew the thing wide open. So, there you go.